Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kat. Alrighty, so today I have for you a mini, very mini <laughs> book haul of some books that I purchased uh, recently and a couple months ago. So this is going to be a short, hopefully short video uh, of me just going over these books. So I'm going to start with Mindful of Murder, which is book 16 in the Skull Degree Pleasant series by Derek Landy. Mindful of Mur Murder came out uh, this year, and I think Derek Landy has two more books planned, so it's going to be in total an 18 book series. The Skull Degree Pleasant series is one that I've enjoyed. I've read the first five books so far, and it's been such a fun <laughs> adventure to be on. It's just entertaining. I think this series starts off as middle grade, and then eventually with each passing sequel it goes more into YA territory because the main character she grows up with each book. I think she started off as a 12 year old in book 5 she's like 15, 16. The Skull Degree Pleasant series is about a sassy skeleton detective and his equally sassy sidekick and their adventures of solving cases, solving crimes, and defeating supernatural forces. And then I have How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories by Holly Black. This is a novella in the Folk of the Air or the Cruel Prince trilogy. I purchased this a couple months ago. Actually, I pre-ordered the paperback a couple months ago when I originally ordered the uh, Folk of the Air trilogy, and I still have to start The Cruel Prince. I have not gotten to that uh, book yet, so hopefully I started soon. Then I have Arcanum Unbounded by Brandon Sanderson. I purchased this after finishing The Hero of Ages, and basically this is a bind-up of short stories novellas that Brandon Sanderson has published for his series, and just overall within the Cosmere universe. As you can see, I'm in the middle of it. I am currently reading Mistborn Secret History, which is, I believe, the short story after The Hero of Ages. Um, and I think there's another short story within the Mistborn trilogy called Eleventh Metal, which I still have yet to read. Of course, I'm not going to read this whole book um, because I don't want to spoil the other books and series for myself. So as I get into the other series and the novella and short stories come up, then I'll read them in this bind up. So I'm just continuing on with my Brandon Sanderson journey. And then I have the Kindred Curses Saga books one through three by Penn Cole. In here we have Spark of the Everflame. Glow of the Everflame and Heat of the Everflame. Book four was supposed to come out in June. However, I think I got delayed. So I think this is the second time I got delayed. So I'm hoping by the time I finish the third book that the fourth book will be out so I can grab that too. Romance fantasy or romanticy isn't a genre that I read too much of. I think I've only read two books within that genre and that is from Blood and Ash and its sequel, A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Even though romanticy isn't a genre that I gravitate too much towards, I'm really excited about this series. I've heard so many great things. Um, it's gaining a lot of traction. So before it explodes and it's all over the place, all over every social media platform, I want to give it a read. There's a lot of people who are behind this series and there's so many people who've even said that they enjoyed this series more than the uh, Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J Mass, which is something I don't hear too often. Um, so I am excited to get to this. Hopefully this series is a great fun series to read within the romanticy genre. Again, romanticy isn't a genre I am too well versed in, but this is one of the few series that makes me want to read it. Also, I just love these covers. Like, it's so pretty, but what I love is the progression of this, this orange flame in the series. So in here you can see the flame. It's very small. It's not covering the whole page, right? Small flame. And then we get to the second book, right? The flame is growing. The flame is growing. And then we get to the third book and look how much bigger that flame is. Okay, I mean, they're kind of similar, but the flame is definitely more intense. I'm guessing that the fourth book, the flame is gonna be much bigger, much more intense. The cover is gonna be brighter orange, red etc. That is the end of my mini book haul. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you read any of those books, let me know what your thoughts are. I will talk to you guys later. In the meantime, please take care of yourself. Please take care of each other, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!